hello guys hope you are doing good in today's video i am going to show you that how to install a oracle virtual box software on windows environment oracle virtual box is basically a hypervisor protocol uh, it's used to set up a virtual operating system in your host operating system for example my host operating system is windows 10 and uh, i want to install a virtual operating system uh, it may be linux solaris or uh, it can also be windows environment as well so let's download first oracle virtual box from uh, virtual box site let's go on google and search for oracle virtual box here we go oracle virtual box download <coughs> so the top side is original virtual box website let's go there and download the package So let's go to downloads, click on windows host, you can click on keep, it's downloading the virtual box setup file. It's almost near to complete. Let's click on open when done. So guys the setup has been started All. So you can just click on next button Here you can see its uh, drivers and relevant packages You can make it default and go to next button you can keep all buttons checked proceed with the next proceed with the installation now click on yes and install The install is in progress. Let's wait for it to complete. It's copying new file. Let us see. You can see its shortcut created on desktop.
so guys it's completed you can check or uncheck as per your requirement if you want to automatically start virtual box at finish you can keep it checked otherwise uncheck it so we are done let's start our active virtual box now It started now. Uh, let's go to a new VM creation. Uh, I I already have a Ubuntu VM. Let's create a new one. You can go to uh, you can click on new button. Here are the very basic configuration. You can set VM name. Uh, like uh, CentOS, you can uh, change the default working directory where it will store the installation image. Then you can define the Linux, Solaris, BSD, Mac, whatever image you are going to install. Then you can set its version, click to the next button. Here you can define the memory of uh, VM. By default it's uh, 953 MB. You can increase or decrease it as per your requirements. Let's go with 1024 MB, 1 GB. Then click on next button, create a virtual hard disk now. It will create a, a virtual hard disk on the path defined in previous step. Let's create it. Virtual disk image go with the default settings. Click on next button. Dynamically allocated. Click on next button. Then uh, you can define the uh, hard disk size of the virtual image. Uh, I am going with 8 GB because for Linux basic installation 8 GB is a good enough. Let's create it it's done now you can start this vm by just uh, double clicking or you can right click and uh, start the vm here it shows the all configurations of your virtual uh, machine now it's asking for boot image here in this step you can select the ISO file which you are going to uh, use for installation uh, so let's add a CentOS ISO file here I am going to browse it from my uh, machines drive if you don't have ISO file go to Google and download it from CentOS or Ubuntu's website I already have a downloaded ISO image file. Let's select it. See, uh, I have uh, CentOS 6.5. Let's click on it and uh, click on choose button. Then click on start button. So it's now starting the installation as you can see the installer has been started uh, then you can proceed with, uh, with the installation of uh, your VM and after installation it will be available so guys this video is good enough to install and understand the basic configurations of setting up a new virtual machine using VirtualBox. So kindly subscribe our channel and follow us for uh, further updates and uh, more new things. Take care. Goodbye.